Hello and welcome. Construction of rhombus and square. There are some difference in properties of a rhombus and square and there are also some common properties of rhombus and square that you have to understand first. What are the distinctive property of a rhombus is that the diagonals are not equal and also the consecutive angles are not equal, their opposite angles are equal, but consecutive angles are not equal. While in case of a square, diagonals are equal and all angles are equal in case of a square. That you have to remember, not exactly you have to remember, if you understand you can easily remember that differences. Also there are some common properties like sides are equal. In case of a rhombus as well as square sides are equal all sides are equal and diagonals intersect at right angles both in case of a rhombus and square you can see in case of a rhombus here both the diagonals intersect at right angle and now you see in a square both the diagonals intersect at an angle of 90 degree so this difference if you can visualize or understand then you can easily construct a rhombus or a square. So let's go for construction of a rhombus now. Construct a rhombus ABCD if AB is equal to 4 cm and angle B is equal to 120 degree. Draw a line AB equal to 4 cm. Since angle B is 120 degree, we have to construct an angle of 120 degree at point B. second arc at the same radius so join point b and this point of intersection and this angle is 120 degree now this is a rhombus all sides are equal now we can take a radius of 4 centimeter all sides are of 4 centimeter so take b as a center and draw an arc to cut this line at point C so this is point C now you take same radius take A as a center this is another arc now this time center will be C and draw another arc to cut this arc so now we can join the points so this point and this point and point D and point C so this is point D so ABCD is the required rhombus BC is equal to 4.8 centimeter and diagonal AC is 7 centimeter so let us draw an arc equal to BC and then again take AC equal to 7 centimeter this time take C as the center and cut this at this point so this is point a now again we have to locate the point d now now taking c as a center draw another arc radius is 4.8 centimeter again taking a as a center this is point d now let us join the points a d take in d c and a b and this is the rhombus a b c d diagonal ac is equal to 7 centimeter and sides are 4.8 centimeter question number 6 diagonal ac is equal to 4.9 centimeter and diagonal bd is equal to 6 centimeter let us start with 4.9 centimeter long diagonal and that is diagonal ac so diagonals bisect at right angle to each other and uh, let us construct a perpendicular bisector draw an arc and again another arc at the other side of diagonal ac and now center is c same radius another arc here so let us join these two points and this is 
a perpendicular bisector of diagonal AC. Now point D will be somewhere over here and point B will be somewhere over here. Say O is the midpoint of AC because O is the point of intersection of this perpendicular bisector of AC. So if O is the midpoint then AO is equal to OC. Also OD is equal to OB. So we have to locate point B and point D here. So to locate point D we will take a radius of half of BD. OB is equal to OD and that is equal to half of BD and that is equal to 3 centimeter. So we'll take a radius of 3 centimeter here. O as the center and draw an arc to cut this perpendicular bisector. So this will be point D and this point of intersection will be point B. So this is point B and this is point D. So now we can join these points A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A again. So this is the required numbers A, B, C, D whose diagonal AC is 4.9 cm and diagonal BD is 6 cm. Now let us construct a square. Question number 1 and 2 but we will not solve this problem. Each side is 4.3 cm. So let us draw a line 4.3 cm in length. Now we have to construct a 90 degree angle because this is a square. So let us construct a 90 degree angle here. Take P as a center. Draw an arc. Then again this point as a center. Draw another arc. Again this point as a center. Draw another arc. Now we can change this radius and we will bisect this second 60 degree angle. This one again this one. So let us join these two points. So this is 90 degree. This angle is 90 degree. Now we have to locate point C at a distance of 4.3 centimeter from B. So take B as a center and construct an arc to cut this line at this point. And again same radius construct another arc again same radius another arc. So this is point C and this is point D. Now you can join the points DA and D C. So this is the required square of 4.3 centimeter side. Now question number three. One diagonal of a square is 6.2 centimeter. So let us first construct the diagonal and length of the diagonal is 6 centimeter. This is 6 centimeter length. Say this diagonal is diagonal a c in a square diagonals bisect each other at an angle of 90 degree so we will construct a perpendicular bisector of this diagonal a c take a as a center and draw an arc on both sides of line a c so now you take the same radius and center is c so this is one arc and this is another arc and we get two point of intersections. Now let us join these two point of intersections. And this is perpendicular bisector of AC angle is 90 degree. So the diagonal BD is within this line. So it will be in this region it will be point D and here it will be point B. Construct two arcs to cut this line. Or even what you can do, you can also draw a circle. I'd like to draw a circle only. This is the circle. This circle passes through the vertices of the square. And this is point B and this is point D. Join AB, BC, CD and DA. So this is the required square with diagonal 6.2 centimeter. I have drawn 
a complete cycle to locate point B and D. If you want, you can also construct only this portion of the arc to locate point B and point D. That is up to you. You need not even keep this part. So this is how we can construct a square when only one diagonal is given because diagonals, two diagonals are of same length and also all sides are equal.